YouTube, what's going on? Hey, today, today the video is gonna be about my top five brushes. All right, somebody in the comments of a video before they asked me, uh, do a video on, on, on the must have brushes, all right? I can't really tell y'all what brushes that you must have because everybody hair is different. Oh, by the way, excuse my hair. It's been a rough weekend. I gotta wash. The waves is not dipping right now. It's, it's halfway curly, halfway brushed, but that's another story. But I'm gonna give y'all my top five brushes that I like, my top five. Some of them you can't find, some of them you can't find. So let's get into the video. Number five on my list out of my top five is the Torino Pro 1620. 1620 curved brush. Okay, this is a medium hard. It's on the firmer side. It's, it's closer to a hard than a medium. But this is this is my go-to brush out of all the curves I got. If you look in the background, I got a bunch of brushes. I'm trying to limit it down to five and give y'all my favorite five. But this is my favorite curved brush. I use this brush the most out of any of them. I can use it on, a, on almost a fresh cut you know, a, a, a two or three going all the way to the end of the wolf with this brush because it's firm enough. The bristles are longer than the average curve, you can see. So they really get down to the scalp and they move the brush. The quality of the paint job, we already know Torino and Royalties have some of the best quality brushes. And this is my number five out of my top five get to the next one number four number four out of my top five is a royalty a new school royalty okay this is the BK 820 820 royalty this is a hard brush now, I don't do too much hard brushing but when I wolf and in case I wash I do use a hard brush not this one but this is strictly for a wolfing uh, this is strictly for woofing. It gets down to the scalp. It's, it's, it's damn near a rake. You can hurt yourself if you use it too much. Dealing with a hard brush, you wanna you wanna glide along. You know, you don't wanna put too much pressure on it. You just wanna do just enough to move the hair. You don't wanna put pressure on it because you can damage your scalp, you can damage your hair, you can really hurt yourself with a hard brush. So be careful. But this is my number four out of my top five brushes. It's a royalty. All right, you can see the craftsmanship. How many rows is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven row hard royalty. Paint job is great as usual with a dope colorway. And this is my go-to hard brush when I'm using flax. Put this up. Let's get to the next one. Number three. Number three. Now this is from uh, I want to say second generation royalties. This is a fan favorite right here. They call this the Scarface brush. You can see the colors. The colorway has red in it, white with gray. I believe this is uh, another seven row. This is a medium brush, okay? This is a go-to brush at all lengths. Fresh haircut all the way through to the end of your wolf. You can use this brush. This is a hot commodity. If you can find this brush, I would really jump on it, okay? The other brushes that I went, number five and number four, those are great brushes. This is a dope brush. This is, I'm gonna tell you, this is a must cop. Okay, this is a must cop. If you ever ask me what brush should every waiver have in their arsenal, I'm gonna tell you the Scarface brush, okay? Out of all my brushes, this is the one that gets the business, okay? If you go on Amazon, I'm pretty sure it may be available. If not, keep an eye out on it. This is a must cop, all right? Medium. Great colorway, great craftsmanship as usual. And again, this is the 709, Royalty 709, medium brush. Get to the next one. Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna give y'all my number two and my number one brush at the same time, okay? 
These are OGs. Everybody's not lucky enough to have these or lucky enough to have seen these or even use these, okay? They don't sell these no more. If you see somebody with these brushes, okay? There's a lot of scammers out there when it comes to these OG Diane brushes. Don't pay no more than $50, 25 to $50 per brush, brand new, okay? Don't get scammed, I don't want nobody lose no money trying to search down. These are the unicorns of the wave game, okay? My number two most favorite brush is 8169 Softy Brush, okay? Seven row with some pull. See, it got a little dust in it because I don't really use these too much. This is a great soft brush with excellent pull, okay? You can't find this. Don't kill yourself trying to get it. There are plenty of royalties out there in Torino's that are comparable to this brush, okay? They get real close or they get better. But since I do have it in my arsenal, this is my number two most favorite brush, okay? 8169 soft brush OG Diane. Number one, 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 one. Now this is truly, Truly the unicorn of brushes, okay? Not too many people got these unless they've been around for a while or they paid a lump sum of money to get it, trade it, whatever the case may be. It is the notorious Diane, OG Diane Mahogany 8119, okay? Medium brush, true medium. Mahogany colorway, seven row, Unicorn brush, OG Diane 8119. All right, if you on the page, you see the uproar that everybody's been talking about these brushes. All right, I got mine, okay? I don't know about you, but I got me one. Some people got three, four, five, ten of these. You never know, you may get lucky and somebody may sell you one out of their collection. When going online, looking on eBay and all these other sites, people are putting up pictures of this brush saying that they they have it for sale but they're sending you a new generation brush of this model. It's not the same. Don't be fooled. Make sure you check their reliable source before you send somebody some money for this. Make sure it's not damaged. Make sure it's still new in the box. Do the best research that you can before you try to purchase one of these brushes. All that aside, this is my favorite brush. I, I used to have the Diane's years ago when we moved, they got threw out. This was way before I got into the wave game. I didn't know the importance of the brushes. So I tossed them out, didn't think nothing about it. Then I get on the wave pages and people going crazy for these. So what did I do? I worked my number and I found somebody that was selling one brand new. Shout out to them, I got this a couple years ago and I finished building up the collection of the Diane's. I think I got all of them except for like one or two, but this is the most important one, okay? My favorite brush, I paid $50 for this brush, okay? Just because it's a collector's item, okay? If you don't have the money, don't do it, okay? Ball within your budget. I had the money at the time, I bought it, I wanted it for collection purposes, I got it, I barely use it, but this brush you can use on a fresh cut, uh, going into your wolf, throughout your wolf, you can use it on any length. This is a, the, the ultimate all-purpose brush. This is a workhorse. This is what all the OG wavers used to use to get their waves good. And a lot of the new school wavers are trying to cop this brush so that they can either use it in their arsenal or collect it, you know? So it's, it's up to you what you want to do. But these are my top five brushes. These is what I pride myself on having. These are the ones that I use the most. Some I don't use at all, but just my favorite brushes all in all. So I know this video is short. I just wanted to give y'all a quick top five brushes from my collection. Uh, maybe another video I'll go through all the brushes that I got. It's gonna take a while because I don't know the numbers of all of them. The boxes are pro probably mixed up. So I'm gonna have to go through all the brushes make sure they're in the right box so I can give you all the right information in case you want to copy. That'll be a, a later date. We're going to go through them brushes. Got a few brushes over there that's brand new. You know we do giveaways on this channel, so make sure if you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on no giveaways or no tutorial tips or whatever the case may be. Until next time, I'm out of here.